winner for the of our class um, scholarship. I am proud to share that I received a formal commendation by our state governor, Tony Evers, for my ongoing efforts towards sustainability in our community. I may have been born with a green thumb. On Christmas Day, my mother, who's a very avid gardener, won the best garden award in our town. And later that night, I was born. I joined the Mrs. Earth pageant because I was inspired by their uh, mission to cater environmental awareness. And I aspire this platform to influence others in community service, education, and passion in making a difference. When I was little, my family and I witnessed the elegance power of magnificent Maria Christina Falls. The loud cascading waterfalls actually sounded scary and my young mind, I was bubble. Like, where? I couldn't help but wonder, where did this volume of water came from? Where is it going? And who let that much water go? So my dad told me that it is part of nature. That the trees collected water, the natural springs, the rivers and the ocean, and it evaporates, and condenses in the clouds, falls back into the planet, in the land, in the shape of the rain. And little did I know that that information stuck with me and coupled with my, coupled with my mom's um, avid gardening, that tree planting would be the root of my advocacy. He said trees play a vital role in the environment. So I spent countless hours um, volunteering and doing community service in beautification, trail and trash removal, and lake cleanups, sewing masks during the peak of the pandemic, and supporting funds raising events such as tonight. But what am I most passionate about is my tree planting events. On my first mission trip to Puerto Rico, we planted over 270 trees to replace the the ones that were damaged by Hurricane Maria. Here in the US, I planted about 100 trees between Wisconsin and Illinois. In the Philippines, my sister planted about a dozen to support my advocacy. So last year, I donated about 200 trees in Kenya, in a little village in Kenya. So Changing a Destiny is a charitable organization that I help support, like volunteering for collecting slightly used shoes. The organization purchased two acres of land and um, built a church and school in that tiny village in Kilisi. Learning about it, it inspired me to donate trees so it will provide children shade and fruits when they go to school. This year, I decided to go on the mission trip to Kenya, and after a 30 long hour flight, we arrived in Africa on Earth Day. And on that same day, added 15 more uh, fruit bearing trees with the children. So Earth Day is very special, as well as sentimental for me because I lost my dad on April 22, and I had no idea then that it was, you guessed it, Earth Day. But there's a lighter, lighter side to that. Did you know that Earth Day being celebrated around the world has humble beginnings right here in Wisconsin? Earth Day was founded by Senator, our Wisconsin Senator, Kaylor Nelson, and then now you know. So Earth is our home. Global warming and climate change are the biggest threat that our planet is facing. A warming world increases uh, natural disasters and um, the speed of infectious diseases. Like my, um, like trees and rainforests are the lungs of the Earth. Trees breathe in massive carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and breathes out over 40% of the
the world's oxygen. So imagine that one tree will provide oxygen to 10 tables, 10 persons in your table. Also, my stepdad imparted a message that continuing global warming is likely to produce more pandemics, perhaps even more destructive than COVID-19. Tree planting taps into one of the most pressing and fundamental issues of our time. Anything we can do to stem the progress and reduce the impact is vital. There are 7.8 billion people in the, night in the world. I correct myself. A simple act such as planting a tree could be a micro action that can have a macro effect when done in numbers and will better the planet. Let us provide our children, their offspring and their kin, a better, cleaner, and healthier environment where they can live, grow, grow, and prosper. So in conclusion, I would like to convey my advocacy to ask each and everyone to plant at least one tree in your lifetime and let us work together to, to reduce our carbon footprint and combat global warming 